the nature's generator solar panels here okay and i wanted to show you how simple it is and they're literally connected with these mc4 connectors and i've got these two 100 watt panels connected together positive to positive negative to negative and then one positive and one negative going through here and they're color coded so this is going to go to the solar input and let's see what happens and there we go you've got the icon letting you know that it's charging and the icon here is letting you know that it's charging from the solar panels now i'm going to do it again So you can see what else pops up on that display. That is for the wind turbine, which is actually over here. Just to give you, we haven't put it up yet, but just to give you an idea of the size of it. Just a little bit larger than the solar panel, but it will generate power from the wind. We've got this charging from the solar panel. And it's a pretty simple connection. Again, these are MC4 connectors. And I have the positive from this solar panel and the positive from this solar panel connected together. And then both the negatives connected together. Then one positive and one negative connected to here. And it's charging from the sun. Okay, you guys, I want to really quick how we're running these heaters and this fan at almost 1600 watts. And I'll plug up the solar panel here. I just have one connected right now, but I'll plug up the solar panel. And you see, it will show you right here, that little icon, that the solar panel is charging. Now, this little device here is Bluetooth. Is connected Bluetooth. So literally on my cell phone with the app, I can see how much wattage my solar panels are generating, watts are going out, as well as once I have the wind turbine over there connected, it's going in the backyard as soon as the snow melts. It'll also give you a running measurement of how much power you've actually generated from the wind turbine, the solar panels, and how much you've actually used. That was a big selling point for me. Really simple to understand. It gives you the analytics just about every aspect of the generator. Right here through this little device. It's Bluetooth. And these are actually USB ports. And you've got your 12 volt here again. And the three AC 120 volt outlets which do power separately. So if you weren't using the AC, you could turn that off. And you can definitely, again, charge it from your home of simple wall outlet. But they came actually both charged. And I've never done it that way. I've always used the sun. Now, power pod is what they call this portion of the generator. It's an add-on. But this is the power pod. It also can be charged by solar panel. Actual generator, but they connect very easily in the back. We're coming from the pod, going down to the generator. They do have a few fuses in here. Storage, compart storage compartment here and another storage here. 
until the cord split neatly. The cart is very sturdy and it is on wheels and it has to be because they literally are about 80 pounds each of them. But definitely still worth it. I'm doing the review outside but it's definitely for indoor use. That's how I always use it. to show you where you adjust the levels or the angle for the summer sun or the winter what's happening on a display here Right now, because there's no power being used, it literally is just showing you that the solar panel is charging the battery. And that fan that you hear is literally as loud as it gets. TMC4 connectors. It's a positive and a negative. They connect pretty simple. And you can connect another either by daisy chaining them or connecting them in series, which is just negative to negative, positive to positive, and then the main connection to them. I'm gonna put that on a pole out here in the backyard somewhere. As soon as a little more snow melts, I'll do a video to show you guys how simple that is as well. This heater. Okay, you guys, just wanted to show you without any solar power or wind power going in to the nature's generator. Running about 1400 watts. So I really like it, you guys. I really, really like it. I like having the ability to use the sun or the wind. Those are two things I have access to, unlike my other generators that require maintenance, oil and gas, and gas treatment, and gas storage.